may be hard for humans like us to acclimate to a big temperature change that we could see, but it's even harder on these little guys. They can't go grab another layer of clothes. They can't go grab another, a thicker, heavier coat. So they depend on humans like Craig Carncross. Kind of taking them off is a lot easier than putting them all on. To bundle them up. Carncross is a third generation dairy farmer at Wargo Acres in Lodi. I have not seen this kind of February weather. It's adding a lot of extra work on his staff. They spend Tuesday evening putting jackets on the calves after spending days keeping them cool in their heavier winter coating of fur. They're really warm. And then their body is starting to like, well, we got to kick this hair coat. We got to, we got to change. And then tomorrow when it goes back to cold, then just like you and I, where they're not acclimated to it. They're also buttoning up their hutches and making sure they have enough water. If it was really cold, they might only drink, uh, they might only drink, uh, uh, a half gallon of water a day. Um, and now when it's hot like today, they might drink a couple gallons. Dairy cattle are creatures of habit that like a consistent 40 to 65 degrees. Big shifts can cause newer born calves with developing immune systems to catch viruses. Calfhood pneumonia is a great way to start diminishing their future performance. It's hard for them to recover from it. Um, calves are real susceptible to having permanent lifelong damage in their lungs if they pick up a case of pneumonia. And nothing breeds pneumonia like quick changing temps and wet weather. So Carn Cross and his crew are left trying to prevent the worst and hope for the best. They'll be all warm and nice and dry and roasty toasty. Calves like these are about two months old, so they're old enough to handle the temperature swings a bit better, but they're still going to get their jackets on tonight. In Lodi, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.